Jeff here once more to orient your fitness in the right direction. And today I want to talk to you about a crucial muscle in your foot called the posterior tibialis. It's very important in supporting the arch of your foot, the inner arch, which prevents you from going into a flat footed position. This muscle, it runs from your lower leg, travels beneath a bone here called the medial malleolus, a bony prominence, and it comes down and attaches to your navicular bone in your foot between a bone called the talus out here and medial cuneiform there. So it attaches to your navicular bone right there. And as you can see, it's going to help to hold up the arch of your foot by attaching there. And when this muscle contracts, it points your foot down, so it brings it down, and it inverts it, so it brings it in, down and in. I'd show you but the metal screws are here that limits the motion. So, it prevents you from going into a flat-footed position. When this muscle is weak or dysfunctional, when you walk or run, your foot's going to repeatedly cave in and collapse and flatten. And that's going to affect you all the way up your whole body. For example, you have fascia at the bottom of your foot here called the plantar fascia. If that is repeatedly stretched from you going into a flat-footed position, you're going to develop plantar fasciitis eventually. And you could repeatedly stress this ligament get, I mean this muscle, get posterior tibial tendonitis. And I've had that before and it's extremely painful. I have to get a corticosteroid injection to reduce the inflammation. Anyways, if your foot collapses, your tibia or lower leg bone is going to rotate in. And that's going to bring your knee in like that. You have a ligament here on the inner part of your knee called the medial collateral ligament. If that's repeatedly stressed again and again, you're going to get a ligament sprain. And you could also get a medial meniscus tear. Then that's going to bring your femur or thigh bone in too. So look, this is the back of a skeleton. If, that, if your femur is repeatedly coming in, in that direction, you're gonna get a, you could get a gluteus medius muscle strain, you could get hip bursitis, you could, and then, this is crucial, if, uh, you could get shearing forces here at your sacral iliac joint, or SI joint. And why is that important? Well, uh, you got your bone here, your anominate, your hip bone, and you got your sacrum, your, sacro, your sacred bone. It's called the sacred bone because when they used to burn bodies at the funeral pyre, this would be the only bone left, so they call it the sacrum, or sacred bone. So this, this joint is important here, your SI joint, because it prevents shock absorption all the way, it, it absorbs shock from your lower body to upper body. So if this joint is out of whack, more shock is going to be sent up throughout your whole body and that's going to create chaos pretty much. So all of that can be the result of your posterior tibialis being weak or dysfunctional. This muscle right here. I actually want to show you on my own foot uh, the surgery I recently got where they uh, cut that tendon and repaired it so they kind of helped me a lot with that let me show you so hopefully you can see this well they pretty much cut here or my the bone here so look that's the inner part of my foot where I pointed out you have got your medial malleolus that's it this structure right here and you got your so they cut here and they cut all the way here repaired that tendon so now I'm going to be in better shape when I walk because I won't be going into a flat-footed position repeatedly again and again. They did much more extensive surgery on me because my whole foot was rigidly flat. I tried orthotics and physical therapy, it didn't work. So they did much more extensive repair on me. But this is where they cut the posterior tibial tendon on me and repaired it with a nearby tendon. So guys, I just wanted to talk to you about why that muscle was important, the posterior tibialis, what can happen if it's weak or dysfunctional. If you don't uh, get it fixed, it can get worse. This muscle, it can turn from tendonitis to a thing called posterior tibial tendon dysfunction, and that can lead to progressively worsened flat feet with um, worsened symptoms. The shape of your foot can change, and you pretty much need surgery at that point. I just wanted to talk to you a little bit about this muscle, why is it so important. A uh, quick exercise you can do, I would show you on my own foot, but you could tie a band, a rubber band around your foot while you're laying on your back, and you can pull it up 
and out while your foot comes down and in. That's good exercise and pretty much the point of this video is to show you what this muscle, why, the, why it's important. So, anyways, this has been Jeff, once more orienting your fitness in the right direction. If you like this video, please thumb it up, comment, subscribe to my channel. Thank you and I'll see you guys later.